If you have to travel by the nine divine, stay on the roads. It's the Daedra, you see. <laughs> or in this case, maybe it's Elrang out there murdering you. Probably because you insulted his tiny little elven wee wee. Welcome to the Elder Kings 2 in Crusader Kings 3 with your good friend Elrang Elfboy and his zombie wife and his daughter who's plotting against him. Makes him very proud. So, uh, I, I, I will admit, look, over the past couple of days, I haven't been having much sleep. But Lisa's been ill and she's been keeping me up all night with sniffing and, st and sneezing and all sorts of crap. So, uh, today, in my infinite wisdom, I slept on the sofa and now at my brain is 300% capacity. So today, we're dialing it in. We're focused. We're ready. Now, this guy, in hindsight, I was I was a little bit concerned that I may have made a bit of, bit of a, a stinky poo-poo play yesterday when we assassinated the head of House Lalu and House Redoran quickly inherited all of their land. But it's not a problem, right? We inherited this idea. This is her son and she... Yeah, you, you get the idea. Anyway, um... This isn't nearly as bad as we thought because this person has inherited one, two, three, four kingdom level titles. He has the kingdom of Narsis, the kingdom of Lalu, um, Velothi, and Redoran. So if we kill him, this will disseminate down through his many children. Um, how does this work then? So it's not partition. Uh, so you, Sarah Urna will gain uh, Velothi, Redoran, and Lalu. Um, but Narsis will divide up. I wonder if we just keep killing them over and over. It does say equal partition. But I guess because it's a great house. It does say equal partition. I guess, um, in that case, when we kill it, it will actually be equally partitioned out. Right? Because you're expected out. Does that not show it when, when partition will take into place? That's a bit weird, isn't it? Am I, am I right in thinking that? That, that that's not displaying how that will work correctly? Because it has equal partition, but those aren't being equally partitioned out. This guy's in line to inherit all of them. Maybe that's not the case. Maybe if, what I'm getting at, is if we do murder this man. Um, we're trying to du du Duchess Marine in the second. Somebody said we're not a truce with her anymore. Um, so we can forget about that one. Uh, so if we try and kill Archmaster, Archmaster Tavis, I think maybe it will, it will disseminate out. Or maybe the Great Houses follow a different rule. I'm not sure. I mean, it would make sense if they didn't all completely divide up like that, right? Um, to some extent. But let's get these people bribed. This should be quite an easy plot to go for then. I mean, being the head of what, effectively two great houses and two other um, quite sizable titles probably is going to make you some enemies, right? I've been worrying about the rising goblin crisis all over my realm. Apparently, so has Kufnada as she approaches me with an idea for solving this crisis. We have had a crisis with goblins. Bear in mind, goblins rose up and instantly stole two of our titles. She suggests that the realm should issue a bounty offering a reward for leader Goldfog of the goblin uprising. Um, of course, yeah. Goblin crisis loses 15 discontent. So this is a... Oh, this is a faction inside our counties. Right. Because we had, I wonder if there would have been a pop-up when this originally started, but because we took the domain from the Imperials, we've just kind of, we've got to kind of figure out this problem for ourselves, right? Um, you lose 500 gold. That seems like 500 gold well spent. Let's check this faction map then. Um, so in terms of factions, we're actually doing totally fine. We've got uh, Reman Mysteries Popularist. That must be a faith, uh, I presume. Let's have a look here. Reman Mysteries. Oh, there isn't a faction leader, so we can't check. Um, the Goblin Shamanist Populace. Okay, so these are all just the different religions in our realm. The only one that's a real problem is this Goblin Crisis, which... I wonder if we kill him, whether or that would tidy things up. I'm not too worried about it right now. Anyway, well, um, our main focus continues to be, as always, uh, continues to be, as always, trying to uh, keep our realm as powerful as possible. She gains the contested title. I mean, what we could do... I, ugh, how many titles are there? One, two, three. We could just get her one of the titles. We could take her this one, make her a vassal under us. Oh, no, because she'd still be a dude, though, if we did that. Oh, man. Um, so that Dooku Conquest just hasn't... Still isn't applicable to us, right? We still need to fabricate three claims? Or we need to fabricate a claim on the duchy itself? Interesting. That's such a weird mechanic. Okay, fair enough. Uh, yeah, no, so we can't do that. We, we would be able to take, I presume, du jour ducal claims um with no problem because of that that uh part that we got so when we form the imperial isle as a kingdom title we can press the claim on a on a duchy say over here and we could take it a duchy at a time which will certainly speed things up um but then again we could just do a bloody holy war given that if we were to holy war house rider and chances are oh sorry if we're going to war with house rider and we might as well just go for a holy war anyway given that we're fighting most of frigging morrowind it feels like um <laughs> anyway obviously not quite the same let's uh let's just keep going then fine uh the barony of empire wow what a what a name 
What a fantastically over-the-top title. Very self-aggrandizing. Let's throw you a nickel and let's raise our troops and give them hell. So people were saying that um, it's it's an automatic procedure that the game will follow if uh, by dividing the army up based on supply, which is very clever. Not something you would get in CK, uh, CK2. They would all just starve to death based on wherever you'd, you'd raise them, right? I of the expert. It is with a glint in my eye that that gear approaches me. My lord, I couldn't help but notice the fine craftsmanship of your fine spear. Ah, look at the muscles on you, that gear. However, only a true expert of the battlefield like myself could identify tiny adjustments that can make it a more effective tool of war. I tune him out when he starts rambling about the symmetry, balance, and edge consumption, but I get the general gist that Thad Gear could improve my artifact in exchange for a symbolic token of my gratitude. All he's going to do is screw a pommel on the damn thing. Fine, Fine Spear is improved. He gains a thuk, uh, a thuk on us. Yes, Thad Gear does gain a thuk on us. Uh, it would be a real shame if Thad Gear were to get a hook of his own. Uh, I, I, like a like a right hook. Oh, hello. Agrippina has been imprisoned by us. Oh, well that's very convenient. I don't know how I managed that one, but that's great news. Um, I can't have a notice you're stood outside the city, not actually sieging there, fella. Right, let's turn around. How did I... Who did I... She was the previous leader, right? How did that happen? Was she dis... She was deposed? We captured her in battle and then they deposed her instantly? I'm not entirely sure how that happened. Not that it matters, of course. Hello! Greetings, Lord Protector of the White Gold. Goblins are launching coordinated attacks in Homestead. We need to do something quickly. We surrender. Ah! So this must be what happened before. They got an option to fight the goblins or not, and they just surrendered it. No, burn the beasts. Burn them all. Yes, good idea. We are now going to fight goblins based on relevant army strength. They've got 100 goblins. I'm sure I can spare the troops from here. Um, can I split an army into, like, a specific size? Yes, good. Okay. Um... Obviously, this was something you could do in CK2, so this is this is pretty standard, right? Um, let's do that. <laughs> Except in CK2, generally you use uh you'd use it as an exploit to take event spawn troops into into raider bands and then get your priest out there burning down buildings and kidnapping peasants. Uh, give me a I want that army. How do we select different armies again? Somebody said if you read the tooltip or something. Oh, we could just do that, I suppose. And then I send you away, and then I select only army. Control click. Aha, very good. I don't know why I wouldn't just default to control click, because if you want to select both armies, you can just do that anyway. Very bizarre. I don't know if I agree with that UI design, but what do I know? I'm just a fella. Come on, get those goblins out of here. I genuinely thought they were going to... Ooh, hello there. I genuinely thought they were going to see you just down then. Um, my goblin-y friend. He does have 16 marshal. I would love to see an undead goblin. <laughs> Look at him! A little alien undead goblin. Oh, he looks so good. He's put on alien clothes. He's like, you know what? I'm civilized now. I take back everything I said. Oh, what a guy. Is he in my court? Where is he? Ah, so be it. Yes. Um, well, he's a loyal... He's a, he's a loyal leader. Oh, and we've also taken her hostage too. Um, is she like a... a like a... A character of, of high descent, good breeding? Bear in mind, one of the people in our court. Actually, what happened to that zombie we've got in our court? We took uh, the King of Leowin as a uh, as an undead thrall. Don't forget, I gotta find what happened to him. No, he, she's a nobody. I don't care about you. Fine, enforce demands. Give me that. Right. Uh, first things first, and let's take a look at some of these thralls. Uh, I want to find out what happened to our other guy. Um, my courtiers. So a wife still there, very zombie. What happened to the other guy then? He's clearly not here. I wonder what happened. He was the. I wonder if we could track him down somewhere. What relation were you to the King of? Coral. You drank yourself to death. You died from your wounds. Do you remember Balventius? Was Balventius someone we messed with? No, I don't think so. I don't I don't remember who he was related to, so it's gonna be kinda of difficult to track him down. What about you? Caro, how's Caro? That sounds right. I was murdered by you. Ah, here we go. Yes, there he is. Where are you? Oh, you left our court. You went to this guy's court. No, come back. What do you think you're doing? You can't abandon me. Strong hook because he's our undead thrall, but we can't invite him back. I wonder why. Um, purchase truce, view war. I just can't bring him home. I could abduct him again. He's just his court mate. He just left our court. Well, some undead thrall friend you are. Unbelievable behavior. Well, the goblin's still in our prison, right? Or at least it should be. So if I release you, can I, re can I, re can I negotiate release and then recruit you? Leave to the prison. Uh, move to house arrest. If I release him, maybe he'll just join us anyway, because he's, uh... If I go invite to court, 
arranged marriage. <laughs> Uh, that seems good. This seems nice. Um, I could marry it to this lovely fella. Uh, I'll paint a Roma. Marry her to the goblin. That's good. I like that. Um, we've got total open goblin marriage. We can marry the goblin to anybody, right? Or, or no, actually, maybe we can't because the goblin isn't selected yet. I've got to find a, a, a spouse for the goblin. This lady. You can't marry the goblin off probably because they're undead. Damn it. I really wanted to get you to court. Is there no just invite to court button in this game or am I going mad? How bizarre. I guess because he's, he's off-map hidden somewhere. Well, that is a fantastic story for perhaps another playthrough in the future. The the undead elven goblin. Very good. Okay, fine. Let's drop the troops then. How are we looking? Well, I think we're like two provinces off of being able to form the kingdom title. And then we can give away these duchies properly, right? Um, we are indeed. Okay, so if we go for Caractacus again. Um, let's just go for a quick conquest on you. Sorry, I read that maybe a second too late there. That said he had 38,000 troops. Oh, because he's Springbrook. Right, he's allied to Sylvanar. Um, I actually don't know who the leader of Sylvanar is right now. Oh, sorry, Arenthia. Um, so if we kill you, who's your... And then your son. This is uh, the niece of Elrang's daughter. So if we were able to... Eventually, she could potentially, again, be in line to inheritance. And then maybe we could just form an alliance and stop shit like this happening in the future. To be honest, I think this war will be over before their allies even get to us. So it's really not a problem. Um, so we can make this work fine. Let's get you chasing down the army. Let's get you to there. And then afterwards, we'll just send the other guys off. Sieging around a bit. How are you outrunning my people? Do we not have feather enabled? Uh, Yes, we do. Oh, my, da my Daedra has disappeared. Hold on. Um, I haven't been casting magic for a long time, have I? Summon Daedra. What? What do I spend my magic on? Oh, making an undead goblin thrall. How could I forget? Um, sure. Well, I'm not chasing them now. Otherwise, we're going to take we're gonna take loads of attrition. It's not really worth it, is it? We might as well just start grabbing things. Here we are. Uh, one of my agents has acquired a deadly spider and arranged for the servant to hide it in Archmaster Travis's bed before dark. All they need is my go-ahead and he will be as good as dead the moment the spider strikes. Kill him. I hope you're not afraid of spiders, Travis. I wonder how that works against Argonians, because they have a uh, resistance to poison. Do you think that's something they may maybe have, uh, <laughs> have maybe patched out, like they can't die to the spider bite or something? Oh no, he's dead. Mm, what a shame. Now the question is, did the realm divide up? Uh, it did. Okay, so Narcissus, well, Narcissus went independent specifically, and then they also should have lost another title, right? Um, no, they only lost Narcissus. Interesting. So the houses don't actually divide up. So the kingdom of Lothi, House Redoran, and House Lalu, even though it is quote unquote equal partition it actually is not equal partition at all we are though similar to them in terms of military strength until he forms a uh, an alliance no doubt if we just keep the murder pressure on if we just keep the murder pressure on and just keep killing them so their realm can never really truly stabilize try and get someone really shit in control maybe eventually the titles will divide up maybe there's some mechanic whereby you know unsuitable rulers can't hold that many houses never know it's worth a go i think um so let's bring you to there why does that count as a oh god i keep sieging the wrong fucking provinces <laughs> this is a classic ck oh well they're gonna take attrition either way i suppose there you go oh hello well thank you for coming back and creating me some war score i appreciate that one a lot i guess they thought our troops weren't particularly good Head up there. Let's just get this tidied up before that. There we go. Before their allies turn up. Because I'm not sure we can take both. Not without spending a. a of course, we could take anybody we want. We've got 6,000 gold. Um, right, nice. Okay, here we go. So now we're in a real problem. Because it's only House Radaran as a potential target, all the people we're at truce with. So I think if we start. If we start bumping some people off, um, as per usual, keep killing House Rider and destabilizing them, and then keep killing our neighboring rulers. God, I keep pressing S to close the notifications, and it never works. I'll see if there's a mod for that or something, because that's very annoying. Um, yeah, no, this is fine. Well, basically, we've just got to declare one more war, and we've got it. We've got our kingdom title. And then we'll see if that cultural... Like I said, I mean, if you pass it the way it's written, in theory, it's only cultures that share our heritage will convert over to the new one, at which point it will only be the Imperial City that becomes uh, Saliachi, the original alien culture, than um, everything else, right? In theory, anyway. Uh, perhaps this will help my efforts. Oh, he's a deviant. Oh, someone's a deviant. Who's a deviant? Oh, you're the, the court poet is a deviant. Oh, yeah, no, that's really helpful. <laughs> that's really that's really good to know. Wow, that's really going to help win over this uh, assassination. We got anyone who wants to join? Ah, fill in Willowvale. 
Untrustworthy Bosma, no doubt. There we are. Perfect. Okay, problem solved. Now, people were saying... Um, oh, hello. My grandson wants me to... You want a book that I came up with? What? I mean, I appreciate the ambition, as per usual. Elrang, I feel like, would be very pleased with his scheming family members. It keeps Elrang on his toes, and it's and they're clearly trying to put their best foot forward. 22 stewardship. Fuck me. Um, decline. No, you can piss off. I like it. I think it's very alien in our situation. I think Elrang would be very proud that he's created a house of, of, of ambitious schemers, because that means only good things for, for his people, right? His culture that he is about to resurrect single-handedly. Um, they're probably also very pissed off that we have all this crap, so let's give some stuff away here. Uh, Ford Correcticus. Um, you cannot grant out a leased out title. What What does that mean? Oh. Oh! Right, that's really interesting. They were leasing out to an... to our, our holy order. Oh, cool. Yeah, no, you can piss off. Um, el any elf boys, any unlanded elf boys, you can have all the titles you want, because I am a kind and just ruler. For Empire, here we are. Uh, let's dish that out to Silneek. That one's for you. Sorry, Silik. Uh, well, I can't keep up with all the names. There's a lot. We got a lot. We got a lot of people in this dynasty right now. Great, 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 great granddaughters, and I'm not even sure that's much of a joke. Roback, here we are. Uh, to another elf boy, anywhere? Any other elf boys unlanded who would like? Uh, Haramir, eight years old, perfect. You seem like a suitable ruler. <laughs> you seem like someone capable of fighting off all the bloody goblins. There we are. Nine out of eight, I think, is uh, safe to hold for the second. Oh, we do have four homes, that I suppose I can dish out. The problem is, last time we dished this out, of course, is when the goblins came back. Um, can I stop by a dynasty? A couple of filters. Ah, that's good. Uh, right, so we say dynasty elf boy. And then we say ruler. No, oh, landed. No, ruler, not ruler. There we are. Um, Indoja doesn't have any land. And she's amazing. Why do you not have any land? Oh, maybe we gave this to her before and then she lost it to the goblins. I think that's what happened. Right. Oh, shit. Well, that's unfortunate. The murder was exposed. Um, God, every time I'm pressing S now to try and close that. Very frustrating. Um, right, okay. Well, we'll swap that over to an abduct then. See if we can get away with that one. Uh, nope. I don't want to romance her. I'll get, I'll get used to the menus eventually, okay? That only had a 6% chance. But let's see if after we invite one or two people. Oh, shit. That got rid of my other plot. Damn it. Oh. Well, we lost progress on that one, then. Oh, and now that's on cooldown. Brilliant. Oh, just amazing. Truly amazing stuff. Great, great design. Okay, fine. <laughs> I could have read that. That's my fault. It was very annoying, though, that it wouldn't just replace the one plot against the person with another plot against the same person. But never mind. I don't think we're going to be able to pull these off. Because these abductions are very, very low in success. They have such a low base success chance, right? Um, here. I don't want to invite too many people, just enough to make sure it's going to happen. 85% is the maximum on that one. Um, I, that spy master is bribable. That's definitely someone we can win over. Uh, send you a gift for 118. We're going to hit you with a charm spell, presuming we have the magicka for it. How much have we got? We've got 41. So we can do a common charm, but that's that's good enough, I think, without wasting um, what will effectively be a bunch of extra magicka. And then let's see if you will join now. Still not minus 29. Damn it. Oh, I have nothing to gain, and you like her. We could use Magicka, of course, to drain her. Is that really as far as we can get? Oh, that's so annoying. Okay, in that case, here's what we're going to do. We're going to cancel that one. We'll try on Caractacus instead. So we can't do a murder scheme. The abduct scheme, 5% and 15 as well. Maybe there's people in this court that we can bribe a little bit better. Nobody. Wow. Oh, fuck. Well, we're at a total dead end again. All right, fair enough. That's unfortunate. Uh, Overlord Marudius is dear to me. Sure, yeah, whatever. Take your random human. It doesn't really it doesn't make any damn difference to us, right? Can we upgrade anything? Probably not, because I don't think we've got... Uh, we haven't had any super relevant cultural advances. We can upgrade the guilds, which is good. There we go. Um, guilds are in actually quite a few districts, so that's not insignificant. What about white gold itself? We need hoardings for that one. Legion, we can't upgrade. That we could build a new building here. Uh, sure. Oh, no. The bridge is in layaway. Must be disabled for that one. Popular opinion needs to be above minus 10. Okay, everybody hates us. Why? Um, because we're a different religion and culture. You know what? There's no reason to not be religiously 
converting everybody. That's that's on me. That's something I should just keep doing. Culture it doesn't really matter too much. Um, but the religion definitely is something we could stay on top of a bit more. Popular opinion plus 70. And development is up to 53 now in the capital. That's nice. Wow, and look, the popular opinion's going up. Just as we're looking at it. That's really nice. Okay, get rid of that. Hello there. My Chancellor Runa has worked hard to convince our neighboring realms that the peace treaty I entered is flawed, illegitimate, and unfair. I am once again free to declare war on her as I please. A, a gift. Pile gold on this lady. There, done. Incredible work, Laruna. Oh my god, she's just given us... I know I use this expression often, but this is very literal this time. She's just given us the keys to the kingdom. That that was amazing. <laughs> oh my god, that couldn't have been any more committed. Otherwise, we'd have had to sit there and either wait for her to become a more hated ruler or her to... or, or for the truce to expire, right? So we can either murder or do something else. Abductkin's informants... Um, that won't help us at all. It literally will not help at all because we're already at the maximum. So we just say the risk is too great. It's totally irrelevant. And now he will be at my mercy. Yes, we got him. Archmaster Arena is safely in my hands. Now that's someone that might be worth turning into an undead thrall given that he is the leader of three different great houses or two great houses and a, uh, uh, a kingdom. Maybe I'll keep him in there. We'll just keep him in there. That might have also pissed them off, given that we've now just uh, kidnapped their house leader. But to be fair, they're not going to declare war after we've kidnapped their house leader, are they? That would be very foolish. I mean, maybe they will. They are the great house of Morrowind. Maybe they'll just be like, yeah, kill him. <laughs> right. Done. Easy war. Give me this kingdom. This is it, right? We've, we've done it. This is everything. We've gained a perk for the diplomacy lifestyle. Hold on. More importantly, force vassalage. Everybody's force vassalization cast a spell. That's really good. Learn language schemes up by one. We don't really need to worry about that. I think we're like four out of 15. Foreign affairs effects miss up 25%. Can propose one alliance without a marriage. That sounds like that could be more useful, I think. So let's go with that. Is that enough to form the kingdom? Hold on. This could be a big moment. Oh my God, it is. Kingdom of the Heartlands. Ah, <sighs> Good, good, good time. You've gained a royal court. The Sirod Court. As Oren, you have new duties and responsibilities. You will be now expected to regularly hold court, solving the disputes of the realm and letting your courtiers take part in daily routines. Laruna is looking sternly at me in direct, almost lecturing way. Perhaps there is also some surprise in her eyes. She starts to unfold a beautiful banner bearing the emblem of Hell's Elf Boy. One of the ways in which the world will know will now judge your rule is how you adorn and care for your royal court. I have taken the liberty to have these made as a gift to mark the beginning of your royal tenure. Oh my god. You will enter the royal court and Laruna presents a banner of your dynasty's emblem. Oh. Oh, now this is nice, though. Look at us. Holy crap. Court grandeur. There he is. That looked very unsmooth in OBS. I hope... In-game, that is like butter smooth, but in OBS, that's a stuttery mess. I hope it's not that... Whoa. It's very, very stuttering in the recording, but it's totally fine in game. I wonder why that is. What a mess. Holy crap. Well, that's the first time I've ever seen that problem. I might have to do something about that. Encoder overloaded. Really? Um, well, I'll fix that out for next time. <laughs> that's so bizarre. Does it look better now? How bizarre. Okay. Well, hopefully it's all right. I have no idea how any of this works. So this is something that I've got to sit here and now try and figure out what the hell is going on. So we can hold court. That's always good. We can see all the people in our court. Oh, look at this. Chroma, Tenichi, Oda Saltbreaker. There's Vasilmasil, Silmasil. Stood next to Reneth. There's our bodyguard. Freneth Forestdale. Very good. Aventus. Oh, this is nice. Who's that over there? What's he holding? Is that cake? Uh, Halion and then Arpanus Silik. There's a person who just... Oh, yeah, look. Kufnada, Indoja, all of Elrang's family members. Oh, this is lovely. And then we can see Elrang himself. Are we not using the ruby throne? Oh, well, we've got to adjust that. Why are you not wearing... Oh, he's got his little feetsies out. <laughs> Daedra Karma at the top, but not the bottom. Oh, my God. <laughs> Business up front, party at the back. That's really something. And who's this here? Curate Homer stood there whispering stuff into our ear, no doubt. Amazing. Oh, well, look, we've got to set up the core artifacts, haven't we? Install the Ruby Throne. Amazing. The Boarhide of Senelana, one of our first first conquests. Let's get all of this hung up. Hang on. We've got to get the, the Elf Boy banners up. Dynasty banner. 
There you are. And house banner. Perfect. The fine elixir of youth. Something we can display there. That's something we grabbed a very long time ago, if you remember. Um, let's get these boar hides up. Yeah, there you go. Um, this one here. Have we already got this one hung? Uh, ooh. Hide at the feral central line of Marlborough Field. Yes, very nice. Very good. Have we got all these displayed? That's everything, right? Yeah, there we go. Uh, yeah, just wanted to double check. But that's everything displayed. Let's get everything repaired too while we're here. We've got to get some better artifacts than this. Maybe this is for something for a potentially future character. But look at how many different pedestals we've got to display stuff on. Wow, that's nice. No, I'm happy with this. There you go. He looks a little bit better with the ruby throne, though he does look like a toddler sap. <laughs> <laughs> so does Marinora. Why have they got such ridiculous seats? Um, court type. Diplomatic court or a warlike court. Whoa. Court types for a stoic ethos. This is our... Uh, this is our cultural effect on the court. Then fine. Gotcha. Diplomatic court. Increase offer vassalage acceptance scaled by grandeur. Level 4. We get minus 20% tyranny gain at level 7. We get plus 10 counselor opinion level 10. We get max personal schemes plus one. Okay. Warlike court then. Level one, we get 10% night effectiveness. Level four, we get powerful vassal council and levy base contribution. That's a lot of words, magic man. Uh, plus 10%. Seven, mana uh, arms counter efficiency up 10%. So basically, if you like warlike stuff, you can go for this one. Fair enough. Okay, we'll leave it how it is currently. Court language. We can change it from Alia Dune to... Oh, can we even change it to... How do we change the language? We have to specifically click somewhere with a different language. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, because a lot. Someone said, if you remember, very sensibly, I think. Set your court language to be Daedric, but I'm not sure we can. Court language none. You have got Nordic. You've got Alt Mary and Breton. That makes obviously a lot of sense. Um, unless someone out there already speaks. Daedric, we can't change it. Maybe when we change our culture, we can set the cultural language to be Daedric. That would be amazing. <laughs> that would be so, so cool. Um, yeah, no, we've just got to, I think for the time being, then we stick with Aelia Dune, right? Because it's the, it's, it's the most sensible choice out of the options we've really got. I wonder why you change it then. I guess to be able to speak... Or to, or to be in touch with perhaps the culture you originally came from. Like, for example, if you're playing base game CK3, Normans moving into England, you might set the core language to French, right? Um, core artifacts then. Oh, that looks good. I like that. The Ruby Throne is especially fitting. I like that a lot. Amazing. Um, there is a claim on the Elf Boy brooch. Oh, interesting. Did she take... What, how, she took that off of us. Oh, it's a house claim. So that might just be her brooch. I'm not going to... I'm not going to steal her brooch. That seems a bit bizarre. Oh, very nice. Okay. That's so cool. And we are now called Sirod. I don't know if I like that. What was the alien name for... For the Heartlands before that? Because Cyrodiil is named after Reman Cyrodiil. So... I don't think that's very appropriate. Let me go look something up. Oh, interesting. I'm totally backwards. Contrary to popular belief... The province of Cyrodiil was not named after Reman Cyrodiil. Rather, he adopted the ancient alien name for the province, Sirod. As his surname. Wowee. There we go. Amazing. Okay, good. That's fine then. Everything's Everything makes sense. <laughs> That's a massive coincidence if the guy called Raymond Cyrodiil just happened to be... Just happened to found an empire that was originally called Cyrod, wouldn't it? Um, amazing. Okay, fine. Good. Keep it as it is then. So, found a holy order. Um, we can found a holy order, but we might want to make some religious changes. So, we'll hold off on that for a second. We can found a new culture in the Heartlands. The Saliachi... How do you pronounce that? Am I saying it right with Saliachi? I have no idea. It's an extinct culture in a video game. Uh, foreign culture, alien heritage, alien doing language. God, I hope we can change the, uh, the culture language. That would be so cool if we could flip it to Daedric, huh? Um, your realm capitals become Saliachi. Uh, Saliake? That sounds weird. I don't like that one either. Um, all courtiers in your domain belonging to the Heartlands region with you become the same culture. Okay, fine. Scrape the barrel. Recruit a lowborn to fill in a random... Oh, court. We, we've got missing court rights, court positions. Sure. Um... We have a lack of spare rooms at the White Gold Tower. So we can kick all our courtiers out. Right, we've got that button from CK2 back. That's very nice. 
Host fees, call hunt. Okay, so we haven't got any... We've got a massive amount of new decisions, but the order mass eviction is new, of course. The scrape the barrel is new. We do need to go back to focusing on the, uh... The coven at some stage as well. That'd be very handy. Oh, God, the hiccups. Dynasty of many crowns. Whoa. So we need to have 10 members of the Alphaboy dynasties be independent rulers. Oh, that'd be a lot of fun. Okay, that's going to be very difficult, though. Um, okay, sweet. Uh, you know what? I'm going to leave it there for today. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go look up if there's a way to, f uh, to flip our language over to a language that isn't spoken. I don't want to do it for any particular reason other than it's such a flex, isn't it? To speak Daedric as your court language. And he's probably one of the few people alive who speak... Who speaks Daedric. Because why would the AI ever take the decision to speak the language of a Daedra that they'd summon? Did I resummon that Atronach? I don't think I did. Um, so that might be something we do just for the just for the fun of it, really, huh? Um, let's turn off Intrigue Diplomacy. This is very dangerous. Let's turn off Mage. Let's turn off Feather. Um, let's let our Magicka rebuild a little bit. And then resummon our... Resummon our familiar after that. I'm going to leave those up because, of course, we've got a lot to do. We should hold court as, uh, as an early thing to do tomorrow. But before we uh, do that, I guess the final thing we should do today, then, is set up all of our court positions, right? We have a lot of court positions open here. Look at all of this stuff. No courtiers meet the court position requirements. Oh, my God. We just haven't got people. Maybe that's why we've got the scrape the barrel option. Sure, whatever. Here you go. Let's just fill it in. With whoever, for now. Um, obviously, you should be picking people based on their um, aptitude and, of course, how much they like you, I presume. Otherwise, again, look, powerful agents in hostile schemes against you. This could make it very dangerous if we make, say, our cupbearer, the person supposedly checking for poison if they hate us. Um, that, of course, makes for a very dangerous cupbearer. Um, oh, am I just basically swapping people over? Cupbearer. Okay. Court Jester. Don't really need a Court Jester. Unless it's someone I hate. Um, you'll do. Wow. Uh, 14 out of 21. Maybe we are filling all of these. Right, so we've got no one for that. Court Musician. You'll do. 15 out of 21. Yeah, no, I, I thought I was just swapping people over there. But I don't think that's the case at all. I think there are just so many Court Positions. So we can't fill in Artificers, Executioners. Uh, nor... Is that with the filter on? No. There's just no one there. Wow. Okay, so we've got a lot of people to fill in. We've got a lot of people to try and fill in, so I'll have to invite some people to court. Um, can I just, like, mass execute these people? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Leave them in the prison. We'll sort that out tomorrow. Thank you for joining me. Tomorrow's episode I'm going to have to pre-record because I'm away on Saturday. Um, but it's only going to be one episode this time. So, basically, I'll go do some research, look up some various things about Royal Court that might be relevant to know. And then I'll dive back in and, and do some stuff with that. But we're going to go too crazy with it just in case I make some kind of foundational mistakes here and there. Um, and then we'll be back. I'll be back reading everything on Sunday as per usual. See you then.